Hey man, I swear, this is one of the craziest situations I've seen in a minute, man. We gotta talk about this situation that happened to Brick Baby. Yes, your neighborhood and rolling 60s ambassador in LA. Also no jumper host slash employee that basically got arrested by the feds of the online video where he posted implying that he was gonna go and extort rappers for BET weekend this weekend in LA, man. It's one of the most unfortunate and probably craziest things I've seen happen in a minute because it looks like they definitely located him and were able to harass him pretty quickly, seemingly hours after this video with Charleston White coming out and actually saying that he is responsible for this whole situation. The one that put the fear don't break baby. I keep telling you, I think I be playing. I don't even know what's going on anymore, man, with this internet world that we're living in. Let's tap in right now, but before we do, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run up this video, man. Make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com. You already know what's going on, man. And tap in with notification games for when I post. Y'all are already tapped in and see it right when the notification pops up, man. So let's get into this. <laughs> Yo, so it looks like Brick Baby was starting his weekend, summer weekend in LA by going ahead and posting on Instagram a story where he basically implied that he was gonna be extorting rappers. For the morning, you know what it is, the biggest cuz. Hey, it's BET weekend this week. You know what I'm saying? All the steppers gonna be in the city, right? <laughs> Look, cuz. Telling you like this, I ain't been f niggas. Niggas ain't been on my good side. You niggas been doing real bunk ass bullshit, right? On the dead homies, nigga. Do not call me when you touch down in the city, nigga. If you ain't been calling, nigga, fucking with a nigga just off GP, nigga, don't call me when you hit the city this weekend, nigga. Bring your security, nigga. Stay out the hood, stay out the way of hood, niggas. On 6 0. Some of you. When you see me, you better tuck tail and run. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's my weekend. It's our weekend. Score weekend. Just score ET. I'm hood. And nah, it ain't break baby hating. Nah, it ain't none of that. I'm sick, so it's time. He's taking advantage of me. Cause I'm sick, so you niggas can be fooled too. And I ain't even saying you niggas get booked. But on the dead homies, you niggas gonna feel uncomfortable. I mean, that's what people sort of got the idea, but basically in the video, he says that it's BT weekend, everyone comes out to LA, and he did have a point, everyone comes out to LA and tries to hit him up probably for security, stuff like that, you know, checking in, like a lot of people online really talk about doing, but you know, LA is a big city, a lot of rappers are out in LA, a lot of people in general, famous people are out in LA, and it's not cool out here. It's not like a type of situation where you could just go around with your chains on and expect not to get like robbed or, you know, it doesn't even have to be a gang situation. It could be like a random crackhead or something that could pull up and rob you, especially when you're flexing heavy. You know, like a lot of rappers like to go to like local hoods and pull up out there, look at, for instance, PNB Rock, where people pull up to like hoods that they're not really from and rock their jewelry and think that they're gonna be all good and stuff like that. And they look for the locals for security. And you know, LA has a culture of people basically checking in. It doesn't matter who you check in with, but if you're from out of town, like it's a big thing for people to go and check in, you know? A homie for white fans. Check it out. If you ever in Los Angeles and you are here handling business, make sure you tap in with some solid homies for your own security. Dang. The streets is dangerous. If you are not tapped in, you will get stepped on, believe that. That. Some rappers going out of their way and making commercials for checking in. But then we got people like Brick Baby that come out and basically say like, hey man, we, we, we're gonna make money this weekend. In other words, these rappers are gonna come out of town and they've seen what happened to all types of rappers really in general that have gotten like held up in LA from Pop Smoke, PNB Rock, man, to Quando Rondo, man. You know, there's a lot of stuff that basically goes on out here. It's just entertainment capital and internet capital of the world. So, you know, people are gonna be out here in force. So, Rick Baby was looking to trying to make some money off that. 
and apparently the feds weren't liking this whole video because immediately after he was arrested with charleston white basically claiming that he had something to do with it man and i wouldn't be surprised i mean we saw that one video where charleston white went out and called cps on finesse two times so i wouldn't be surprised that charleston white didn't or did you know call the feds on brick baby i really wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised if a video comes out of him actually going ahead and like calling the feds on him and stuff like that man but it's like this dude's an alternate snitch man but at the end of the day probably shouldn't be posting those type of videos on social media you know that type of social media videos is definitely not going to help your case even if it didn't have anything to do with that even though he didn't like go out and say that he was extorting anyone but you know it was an implication there and if the feds find that there actually is type of some type of connection and he was extorting people i mean that's probably not going to look good for him man you know it's super unfortunate we don't want to see anyone in jail that's not what we're trying to see right now we're not trying to see anyone locked up in the court system but like you know at the end of the day you got to not post stuff on social media regardless because you know it might be seeming like a good way to make money and it might seem like a good idea in the moment nine times out of ten you're either leaving evidence self snitching or doing something crazy that someone's going to notice and then call the police on you i want to be surprised man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this situation you think it has something to do with this or it was an ongoing case the timing is just crazy too it could have been like a situation where they went and found his location just based off the video or saw that he was in la and were able to locate him and you know these feds are really watching everyone on instagram bro they really are and police look at what happened to boosie man he basically got caught on an IG live with a gun. So the San Diego Police Department at that time in his situation were watching on his Instagram live. So it's not a surprise when this type of stuff happens. The LAPD probably were watching him. You know, the detectives unit were probably watching him just on his IG live or on his IG to see where he is at times, you know, and they know he's in LA because he's working on no jumpers. So, you know. It's a wrap at that point, man. But, hey, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Real say, say shit. You already know what's going on. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Peace.